Looking forward to it. Thanks, Eric. Well, new tonight, an Ohio teenager says he went to Lakeside Academy and watched staff members there restrain his fellow classmate. That student was 16 year old Cornelius Fredericks, who police say later died at the hospital. Three people are now facing charges in connection to his death and a civil rights lawsuit against the school is pending. Our Marisa Oberly is live in the newsroom after speaking with that witness, Marisa. Yeah, Aaron Nathaniel Dixon considered Cornelius a friend, explaining he helped him adjust to the school in Kalamazoo. Nathaniel says Cornelius did not deserve to die and says hearing him scream in the school's cafeteria on that day in April will traumatize him forever. Sitting side by side in their Canton, Ohio home, Nathaniel Dixon and his mom, Amanda Judy, say it's a blessing to be next to one another. It makes us really thankful. I believe we've got closer because I feel like it could have been him. Just a few weeks earlier, the 15 year old sat inside Lakeside Academy in Kalamazoo, the school now under fire for the death of one of their students, Cornelius Fredericks. After police say staff members at the school used an illegal restraint while disciplining Fredericks that led to his death and failed to get him medical treatment. Funny, uh, happy, outgoing and no cool. Dixon considered Fredericks a friend. And then he was just screaming, I can't breathe. He says staff members grabbed Fredericks after he threw food and forced the other students out of the cafeteria. After hearing screams, he says the kids went back in, only to see Fredericks lying still on the floor. And they poured water on him, basically said he was faking, and then that's when they started cutting his shit. He's like, where's the scissors? He cut his shirt, and they was like, CPR. Dixon says he and other students were upset with some even rioting and in the days after he says many employees quit while others threatened to do what had happened to Fredericks to the other students. I was just a nervous wreck. I could not get to my son. I felt so helpless. Judy says it's something no child or parent should experience, but explains the incident didn't necessarily surprise her. She and Dixon claim staff members at Lakeside physically abused him at least seven times during his five months there, slapping and punching him and using a similar restraint to the one allegedly used on Fredericks. It just makes me want to do more that I can for my son, for his behavioral problems. But the next time I will not agree to a facility. I don't care. Um, after the experience with Lakeside, no. They say the charges against the staff members and the removal of the facility's license is a step in the right direction, but believe more will need to be done in the months ahead. Not one person could stand up for this child. It just blows my mind. It's definitely impacted my son uh, with the way that he behaves, he thinks, I mean, he is completely you know, changed. And I did reach out to the nonprofit that owns the property that Lakeside Academy is on, as well as Sequel, who is the company that hired the workers at Lakeside. I did hear back from the Academy, but not Sequel. To see their statement, just head on over to fox17online.com. Reporting live in the newsroom, Marisa Overly, Fox 17 News. Marisa.